Hey everyone, uh, my name is Amal Matu. I'm an emergency physician at the University of Maryland School of Medicine in Baltimore, and I have a particular interest in emergency cardiology. And I'm Aaron Sale, an emergency physician in Toronto with the University of Toronto, and I have a special interest in emergency orthopedics. And we want to tell you about a new and exciting online course called Beats and Bones. This course is for anybody who works in the emergency department and looks after patients coming in with either cardiac problems, that's the beats, or orthopedic problems, that's the bones. This is for physicians, nurses, PAs, nurse practitioners, medical students, resident trainees, anybody who's working in the emergency department or in any type of acute care setting. Now, I'm going to be covering the emergency cardiology material and help you get updated on all the latest and greatest techniques and literature in emergency cardiology. Everything that you need to know to take care of some of the sickest emergency cardiology patients. Patients with ventricular storm, acute cardiogenic pulmonary edema, deadly arrhythmias, and also acute coronary syndrome. We're going to get you updated on what you need to know to help save lives in patients that are presenting with cardiac conditions. And I'm gonna cover the ortho side. And despite orthopedics being about 15 to 20% of our emergency medicine volumes, it ranks quite low in our area of clinical confidence. So I'm gonna help you with understanding commonly missed injuries, mastering plain films, tips on getting excellent reductions, not only how to reduce them, but when to reduce them and why to reduce them. We'll understand pediatric fractures much better and so much more. Cardiology and orthopedics are both large components of emergency medicine, yet they rank very high on the list of commonly missed diagnoses when it comes to med mal cases. Beats and Bones is going to be live, it's going to be interactive, it's going to be fun, it's going to be clinically relevant so that you'll be able to take what you learned, the pearls and the pitfalls and the updates, and apply them to the very next patients you see during your next clinical shift. Emergency medicine is challenging. After the course, you will better recognize subtle cases. You'll be more crisp with your emergency management, and you'll have more clinical confidence with two large areas of emergency medicine, cardiology and orthopedics. For your patients, you will provide better care. And for you, you will better enjoy providing that care. Hope to meet you at our upcoming Beats and Bones course this coming April.